Nate, we're back to sniping in this one. 1942. Most of Europe has been crushed under the Axis boot, making the war for North Africa crucial. It has to end here. In the unforgiving terrain of the Western Desert. That's why I'm here. Snipers! Snipers are needed the wall! Because one bullet can change history. Nate, Carl Fairburn is back because we are going into Sniper Elite 3 on the Nintendo Switch this time. What'd you think? So this is actually my first Sniper Elite game. Shame. I know. Shame, shame. Uh, I, we played four in our little Let's Play, and that yeah, kind of so gave good. me a, a flavor of this series. And yeah. I remember seeing three years ago when it was actually coming out and uh -huh. being just super enticed, but just never, you know, got to it. But now getting to it on the Switch. Yeah. It feels great, man. I've played handheld 90% of the time, and I enjoyed all of it, honestly. It is a great port from you know the Xbox One, Xbox 360 to the Switch. It was, it was originally on PS3 and Xbox 360, and I, man, I don't know how much time I sunk into the PS3 back in the day, especially on the multiplayer side of it, and then it carried over now into the Switch, and I'm able to take it on the go, and it feels like I'm playing my PS3 on the go. What a great port, everything looks Fantastic. I can't believe how well it looks. So you kind of get nervous when you're pick, picking a game, coming to the Switch, because you know the Switch isn't as powerful yeah. as the PS4 or the Xbox One. Now, this is obviously a PS3 port kind of thing. So coming over to the Switch, essentially a great fit. Story still the same. You're still getting all the same mechanics you get when you're familiar with the Sniper Elite series. So that's there. The story is cool, but if you're a first time player, I'm kind of jealous if you actually haven't played this before, yeah. to come in now as a fresh player and get the sniper experience on the go. Man, and that's just it. It nailed it for me. Carl, he's just this. He's a rough kind of guy. He's just right? like, he's got this really strong, yeah, kind of like menacing thing. voice, and yeah. you can just tell he's been through hell, right? Yep. And the, the way the story carries through, the missions are very big. It's not just like a simple, you just take out two, tar sorry, two targets and move on. No. It's like, it goes on for, it feels like <laughs> kilometers. <laughs> yes. Uh, my only downfall was playing on the Switch. It's a small yes. screen, man. I, I agree. The sniping at times <laughs> I found, like, especially in the nighttime levels, is a yeah. little bit of a struggle. But granted, I'm playing on a tiny screen and... Uh, it still played perfectly. You're still getting the kill cams, right? Those yes. kill cams are really kind of shine for the Sniper Elite series. But it, it's that man. It's like this small when I'm trying to pick this guy's head off <laughs> oh, when he's man. like 200 meters away. Oh, so one of the key targets you have to kill into the beginning of the game yep. is one of the generals in a truck, and I was playing on a handheld. <laughs> That's hard. Oh, eh? <laughs> it spent a lot of retries doing that. Yeah, for sure. But the, the game is very, it's forgiving. It gives you lots of checkpoints throughout yes. the game, so you're not redoing, you know, like minutes and tens of minutes of yeah because you know, these missions are big so they, they don't honestly just take a minute it's, this isn't a game that you're just going to jump in a lot of switch games when they get ported over or just a fresh switch game for that matter kind of tend to play to that play style of it's a handheld and on the go this is a full-blown game you are going to be here for an hour two hours playing the game so if your choice is just kind of kill a couple hours in handheld, then you're good to go. But if you think you're gonna pick it up for five minutes, you're not making it anywhere in this game at all. Yeah. Nathan, one of the things that shine with the Sniper League series is the fact that they actually bring co-op to the sniping experience. Yeah, man, and that just, with this game, because a lot of, it, for me, it's kind of funny. It <laughs> reminds me of Splinter Cell, which yeah, I know, like, you got to explain this to yeah, me. Well, it's just the whole kind of sneaking, stealthing around. It's a lot of stealth. You know, throwing, <laughs> throwing rocks yep, and getting sure. a guard to stumble over there. And, <laughs> I don't know, like that, it just it kind of, it, that's what it felt like for me. I get it, I get it, and then it's, when the other noises are going off, like if you get close to like a generator, right, and you rely on that sound, you wait for that sound to kick in, and you go, oh man, and then you line up your shot with that because that's there is no silencer on your sniper rifle, no. right? This is back in the day, so 
in Africa, we're waiting for some of these machineries to kind of break down or they're launching missiles and that's what you're kind of lining your shot with. So it's a matter of timing. So a lot of stealth involved, which is right up my alley. Uh, and then the nice thing is it's all about if you do give your position away, you have to dip out of that position because yes. it gives you the warning that the guards are on top of that and they're coming for you. And they're ruthless too. Yes. They will not mess around, man. Even, They'll take like, you I played it on the easier difficulty yep. to start and it's still, <laughs> it's still not that easy, man. <laughs> like, uh, I guess the second easiest difficulty, man, it's still, they kill you fast and yeah. they have great aim. <laughs> yeah, it's cool. They also have the multiplayer feature yeah. too, which was something I was, wasn't really expecting to come in for the Switch itself. I jumped in, the population at the time when I was playing wasn't really that populated. We didn't get a full lobby, so I was a little light on a couple players. It took me a while to actually get in, so that's the only downfall holding back this portion of the, of the game. The main campaign's there, it shines to the fullest like it can. It's one of the greatest sniping experiences on the Switch, probably if not the only on the Switch, Yeah, really. to be honest. But the multiplayer there is a little light just because the player pool wasn't there, which is unfortunate because, man, I played so much of this multiplayer back in the day and it was so good. You find your hiding spots. And sometimes you'll see the flash and you rely on seeing that flash, you can pick that guy off. Yeah. There's nothing like it in a multiplayer experience like this. We did this for Sniper Elite 4. But moving forward, Nate, let's wrap up Sniper Elite 3 on the Nintendo Switch. What are you scoring this great game? Man, so like I said, first time into the Sniper series uh -huh. and I absolutely loved it. It's a great port, runs smooth, yep. great audio. Just like they nailed this one on the park, man. It's getting an 8.5. That's awesome. They're, everything you said right there, the graphics are great. Everything's fluid, it's smooth. The audio there, the difficulty, the story, the campaign. This is a full game brought to the Switch. I'm there with a nine. Sniper Elite 3 is a great move for Rebellion, allowing us to play one of the best sniper games on the go. A full game with hours of sniping greatness that looks amazing on the Switch. If only multiplayer was a little bit more populated. <laughs> Subscribe to never miss a video and help us by hitting that like button.